Mm, damn, Q. Maybe you did that. building for another episode of the beers bourbon whiskey podcast everybody loves bbw got my man angry principal in the building what's up got uh my man bo holding it down i see and of course man it's your boy q lewis holding it down live from the 48205 man red zone baby all right so even though you uh checked us out last week i had the same shirt on this is a different week and a different show <laughs> <laughs> so today we got dragon's milk right dragon's milk origin right that's the uh, that's the name of it uh, Dragon's Milk is uh, something that uh, Angry Principal brought in for us. Uh, he gonna give you a little backstory on how that even came about. So Angry Principal, tell us a little something. So like my favorite beer is Dragon's Milk. Mm -hmm. It's out of New, uh, New Holland Brewery mm -hmm. in Holland, Michigan. Gotcha. So I like the dark, 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 dark <laughs> beers. <laughs> right. but, uh, don't give me no Budweiser. I don't want to deal with the the Millers or anything yeah, like that. Shit, I like, like the a darker meal beers. Glass. Right. Yeah. I, <laughs> So Guinness, I'm, I'm on the Guinness and darker kind of stuff. So that's what I like. Yeah, so I I'm walking through the store and all of a sudden I see Dragon's Milk and I'm thinking it's the beer. And then I looked at the bottle. I was like, oh, they got their own bourbon. Now, you, uh, you've you seen the beer barrel bourbons out for the longest. It's the same company. Okay. Uh, so, but this time they've uh, made a single barrel, 93 proof, 95 proof, I'm sorry. Uh, but the difference with this one is they are still in prohibition era copper pot steels oh, so okay. they're going for an older taste uh seasons more seasoned taste when they uh, actually did their their recipe so yeah. um and it's Shit. something that's going to be available year round so it's not like this is just a, a one-off but it is okay. a small batch uh they said they're only doing 100 barrels at a time 100 barrels or less for each batch so okay. you know we may have it now and then next year it's going to taste totally different because it's a whole nother batch, batch that batch. they're trying to deal with so okay. uh yeah small batch it's it's i'm trying to see if anything else but yeah that's that's the main thing but when i saw those dragon's milk that's why i wanted to try because that's my favorite beer for sure all right and the bottle the bottle is is, is kind of dope yeah, too. The yeah it's got the dragon I scales, dragon going scales going. i thought it was yeah. eagle feathers is obviously <laughs> Dragon scales because it's dragon's milk. That would only make sense. I don't know where the hell I got an eagle from. It's that weed I was smoking. But uh, all right, so real quick before we get into it, uh, any ideas of what it might taste like? I, if it, if it has anything like with the dragon's milk uh, beer, it's gonna have a lot of chocolate and vanilla in it. A lot of chocolate and vanilla. That's kind of what I'm I'm looking for because that's okay. where the dragon's milk has a lot of chocolate and vanilla gotcha. in the beer. Right. And so I'm assuming that's kind of the same recipe is gonna filter over. Could be. And shout out to going out to Holland for to their tasting room, New Holland's uh, tasting room. That's mm -hmm. a nice little restaurant. Yeah. And plus, the west side of Michigan, over on Lake Michigan, that's a it's very, very it's good time. So, yeah. you said how, how they treat you over there, though? That, that was going to be issues. my next question. I had zero issues. Really? Okay. okay. People were, aside from one lady way up further up north near Ludington, mm -hmm. when we were on the beach, she saw some black folk and then got up and moved even further yeah. over. <laughs> Aside from that, we had a ball. Everybody oh, was extremely friendly, just happy to see people out yeah. having a good time. Holland crazy. So. Like, that for real got tulips and windmills out there. Like, Holland, <laughs> Michigan. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. It's wild. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We went to the, in fact, we went to the, uh, the tourist place where you go see all the, the windmills and the yeah. tulips. Okay. It's like a, a small scale of, uh, of, uh, what's that out there in Dearborn? Um, Oh, Greenfield Village? Greenfield oh, Village. Okay. It's kind of like that, but yeah. on a much, much smaller <laughs> Greenfield scale. Greenfield Village. We rolled up, saw it, and rolled on out because there was no point in stopping it because gotcha. it yeah. was about to close and yeah. we basically saw everything from the car. But, you know. <laughs> it wasn't no need to go no nah, it wasn't. <laughs> yeah. So chocolate and vanilla is what you Chocolate and vanilla is what I'm looking for, but I'm... I, just because of the beer. Just because of the beer. Yeah. So, Bo, what about you? What you, uh, what think you thinking? I think it's going to have some vanilla notes. I think it's going to have that, that char that, 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 that I like. That we were looking for dragon. last week. Because <laughs> it's a dragon. Because <laughs> I'm thinking about their beer, right? You know, it's not necessarily char, but it's like yeah. I like Guinness too. You know, and I like that dark right. beer. has got that nice little strong kind of finish, I guess mm -hmm. you could say. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I think you feel it, like you're drinking liquor. Yeah. 
<laughs> like I said, like a meal in a glass. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. I guess. So, yeah. Um, so I'm not really sure what to think. I, I am hopeful that it is a, a chocolate vanilla kind of situation because that's the the uh, the type of sweetness I, I do like. Um, I'm curious what's going to be the difference between the uh, the copper, you know, the copper barrel and the you know and the the normal barrel. Oh, the so, pre prohibition yeah, era. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, I'm curious right, to see yeah. if that's going to change something. Yeah. So uh, let's let's take a look. Let's go ahead and pop All that right, cover. See. Right. Pause for the court. Oh, it's a little baby, little little baby, baby, baby pop. <laughs> it, it wasn't like the Hudson, the Hudson yeah, yeah. little AB pop. <laughs> <laughs> Lil' AB. Lil' AB pop. <laughs> Y'all will get that joke one day. Shout out to AB. <laughs> right. Lil' AB. Lil' AB. Yeah, Lil' AB with the nail pop. Lil' AB. Hey, am I nervous? I'm like a hand shaking and shit. Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. It's a little, a little bit of both. I smell some fruit in there. <laughs> Some fruity notes. Yeah, there's some fruit in there. Yeah, I don't ever want to say that again. I smell. <laughs> <laughs> I smell the cherries. Some fruity notes I, I do smell cherries on this though. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. Yeah. Okay. Mm. That's kind of surprising. I was thinking more, you know, vanilla, chocolatey, and, and I, that's I, a candy I taste, taste a lot. Yeah, candy. I taste a lot of sweetness, candy. a lot of fruit. And that's a yeah. candy, almost like a, a gummy worm or something, yeah. a gummy bear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the weird, surprising. The weird part is no like chocolate. I, I kind of yeah, like no it. chocolate. No chocolate. So this is completely different from the beer. Completely different from okay. the beer. Then I kind of like it though. I'm surprised though with the candy oh, sweetness. I'm like surprised. Sweet shit. Mm, that's weird. Matrix, man. Wow. That's a lot of candy. It is sweet. That is extremely sweet. Not bad, but extremely sweet. It's a cherries, though. Cherries, yeah. It's almost like, I almost feel like uh, like you made a drink and left the cherries in there by accident, and they've been sitting at the bottom of the, <laughs> <laughs> they've been sitting at the bottom of the barrel the whole time. So, like, now you just taste it. When you didn't mix it up real, the you didn't mix it up, up right here, so you just, just sort of at the bottom. The bottom. That's what it is. <laughs> remember, no, remember y'all remember no fruit on the bottom? I don't know. Huh. I don't know, and I'm surprised that y'all actually. I, it's it's I definitely it. sweet. You say you don't mind it? I don't mind. It's not off putting. It's, yeah. it's just it's usually that sweet shit. It's like a gummy it. bear. Yeah, off rip. You don't like it. Yeah. yeah, but this is a gummy bear. Yeah, Literally a, a gummy, gummy worm. Yeah. A cherry yeah. gummy. That's do you do you get any difference between like a the normal barrel and the prohibition barrel. I'm not really. I'm not really. I'm not really telling. Uh, yeah. I, I don't. I guess I don't know what I'm looking for though. Like, I, I was looking to be missing something, but perhaps the copper is. Well, kind of I know most the of them want to use the copper regardless, but it's the mm -hmm. pot still. Normally, you get that with your your Irish whiskeys and your scotches. Okay. And then, whereas with most of the bourbons, they're the column steels where they go straight up. Right. Like the ones we saw at uh, uh, Peerless. At Peerless. So, gotcha. hmm. uh, yeah. So, Angry Prince, what you think? This is just it's sweet. Mm -hmm. That's about the only thing I can say about it. It's it's sweet. It, it's yeah. it's vanilla. It's cherry. Definitely cherry. Cherry. Definitely gummy. cherry. Cherry all day. Um, especially if they're getting the oak trees from over in Michigan mm -hmm. for the go, barrels. It's gonna taste. It's gonna get the cherries. Yeah, That's just a cherry. part of Michigan barrels. Is is that cherry taste? Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. So, if you want something sweet, mm -hmm. especially if you mixing this, because it's ninety five proof, so it's not like you you got to drink it on its own. But mm -hmm. you don't necessarily have to mix this with anything because it has a sweetness to it. It's almost like throw some rocks in it and you'll be all right. That's all I was gonna say. I'm I most definitely gonna have to put some ice in it just because I oh, think yeah. for me it's like it's, diluted a little it's, bit. It's really sweet. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. really sweet. Yeah. Uh, but what'd you say? What's your, what's your commentary on Again, um, it's not bad. You know, I, I feel very similar like that to how I did last week, you know, with, with, with the Hudson. You know, it's uh, it's not bad. I don't know, like Angry Principal said, I don't know if I would ever just drink it, just drink it by itself. You know, I might mix it with something, but then again, like you said, you may not need to mix with anything. Right. You know, so... Again, it might be one of those specialty bottles I have just to kind of, you know, make a cocktail or something like that or something different. This is a summer. Oh, absolutely. This is a summer whiskey no yeah. matter what. Absolutely, absolutely. summer. Definitely yeah, absolutely a summer, summer whiskey. 
Yeah. What I will say though is uh, just off rip of the cherry flavor. Obviously, it is on Michigan. It's on. It's on brand for Michigan. Uh, so mm-hmm. definitely, if you're thinking about something that's being distilled uh, in Michigan, you would probably assume cherry. So like this right. is on brand for that. Um, obviously, it's not a hundred proof or anything, but I did. I did expect it to have a little bit, a little bit more bite. I guess uh, to kind of offset the sweetness. And again, like I, I'm all about. I'm all about the sweetness. Pause. <laughs> but, uh, but I don't know. For this one, yeah, yeah I don't know. I'm trying to see what is, what's going to happen with the cigar. The cigar doesn't make or break it. Mm. Not, not for me. It doesn't make or break it. Same here. I was, I was going to say the same thing, basically. Yep. Same here. Mm. I'm, I mean, yeah. It's, it's, I'm kind of disappointed. What was the price point on this again? Uh, 49 Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm a little disappointed only because I like Dragon's Milk beer so much. Mm-hmm. I was expecting some of the same... Taste profiles on Same that else, one that yeah. and this, and I'm not getting any of it. It's totally opposite. Yeah. So if you like Dragon's Milk beer, uh-huh. you, you're understanding you're not getting the same type of taste profile for the bourbon. It's yeah. not there. Completely different. That's totally completely on different. the other side of the spectrum. It's totally totally like. different. Um, I do feel like the uh, I do feel like the cigar is adding a little bit to the finish, though. Like for me, See, it, it didn't, didn't really do much didn't for me. Do much, yeah. mm-hmm. And a little bit to the finish for me. Just a little bit. Uh, all right. Well, it's time to go around the block and uh, you know see how we feel about Dragon's Milk. Anchor Principal. I'm disappointed, so I'm giving it two and a half. Two and a half. Yeah. Okay. It's I, middle I, of the road. I thought you was. Gonna, I thought you gonna give it less than that. I no, it's sure. middle of the road. Oh, yeah. because like I said, this is a summer drink. This is not a winter drink. Gotcha. So if if we were to do this in the summer, mm-hmm. we would probably have a, a better, yeah. more favorable opinion of it. But yeah. right now, it's two and a half for me. Yeah, because it's gonna be on the ice, it's gonna right. be outside right. on the deck. Right. Yeah, so it's gonna it's True. gonna have a whole another feel to it. True. But what you say? Uh, just like last week, two and a half. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel pretty much just about the same way about it, right? It's not bad. You know, I would definitely drink it again. Um, yeah. I don't think it'd be by itself. You know, it'd probably be in a cocktail or something like that. But, uh, yeah. yeah. It's, right. it's, it's, it, 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 it's <laughs> definitely like a total 180 from what, you know, uh, uh, what, what the beer Jackson is like. Beer, yeah, yeah, you know. And plus it's small batch, so the next batch may taste totally different. True. That's true, too, True. true. All right, so... Um, what you what you you said two and a two and a half. Two and a half. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm gonna say two. You know, I'm a, I'm a little bit less actually. Uh, this is actually one of the I don't know. This might be one of the least uh, one of the, my least favorite ones that we've tried so far actually. And I don't know why. I don't know if it's because of the. Cause again, I like sweeter things, and, and and cherry is not an unpleasant flavor. But it's just something about it. Like it's just that it's it, it don't work for me. I, I feel like for me, I think that if it if it was a higher proof, I think it'd be better for me because like it'd be sweet. But then it it hit me at the end, so I might it, it might be a little bit better. But because it's not a higher proof, I'm thinking maybe it's just it don't work for me though. See, y'all turn me into a snob now. I, I used to like 90, 95 proof. Like I used to love it. Not like if shit ain't 159 proof, it's like I don't even want it, right? Like whatever, huh? Right, exactly. But uh, yeah, for me, I'm going to give it a two. I okay. kind of compare it to the Traverse City Cherry. Which you told me which to I never get. It's horrible. So I never got it. And I'm kind of comparing it to it, and it's much better than that. I it's mean, better it's, than that, okay. Because that's only 80 proof. This is 95, mm-hmm. so you got a little bit more of a that bite to it. That shit damn near liqueur. <laughs> that, che- that cherry flavor is, in, is forward in both of them. This is much better than that one. Okay. But mm-hmm. I, I still... Which makes it a likable mix yeah. mixer. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good for, good for mixing. I think it'd be great for mm-hmm. mixing. But at the price point, I don't know if you want to be, you know, I don't know if you really yeah, want to mixer. That's, that's not a $50, legitimate mixer. $50 bottle. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I love buying a $50 mixer. I ain't going right. to lie to you. <laughs> for sure. I'm disappointed. I yeah. can't, can't lie. I am disappointed. All right. Well, Dragon's Milk, you did your thing on the beer. Yeah. <laughs> but ah, not so much on this. Now, does Dragon Milk have any other whiskeys and barbers, or is this the only there? Uh, so New Holland Brewery has other bourbons. They have mm. the beer barrel bourbons, mm-hmm. and they have different flavors in that. Mm. I think they got I saw a peach or apple or something yeah. like that. Okay. But uh, Dragon's Milk, this is their first one. Okay, okay. gotcha. All right. So yeah, <clears throat> definitely a definitely a summer a summer situation. Uh, again, as always, though, we do uh, encourage you to try it yourself. Uh, if you're into a cherry flavor, this is a good one. Or if you are into making like old fashions and things of that nature, this is probably work out best for a mix. Uh, however, make sure that you do try it on your own. Uh, but respectively, we got 2.5, 2.5, and a two for me. Uh, so it's going to kind of be a no for me on that <laughs> All right, so we go, uh, I'm going to finish my glass and smoke some more of this stogie. 
And then we go uh, get up out of here. Uh, did y'all want to leave the people with some final sentiments, sir? Drink what you like, how you like. <laughs> what about you, Bo? Y'all see that Chinese spot balloon last week? <laughs> we still on that. Y'all dog. see that? We still on that. Man. Yo, we, we out of here, man. Everybody oh, loves DW. Hey, Giants. Just check still it out. Still floating. Watch out for Giants. Watch out for, for Giants. Real. And we didn't talk about New York football <laughs> Giants either. <laughs> like Goliath. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> loves BBW, dog. Beers, bourbon, whiskey, man. Got my man Angry Principal in the building. What's up? <laughs> my man Bo holding it down. I say. And of course, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205, man. Peace out, y'all.